Welcome back, everyone, here to Full Circle Florida. Let's bring in ABC News political director Rick Klein. Uh, Rick, Congress back in town to start this new year, back to a long list of house chores, so to speak, from the debt ceiling to funding for Ukraine to the crisis at the border, which is now spilling over into big cities across the country, from New York to Chicago to Los Angeles. Uh, which of those big three priorities are the most urgent and which of those will actually get done? Well, I, done is always a relative term in Washington. I think, you know, government shutdown becomes an urgent priority, but obviously the headlines off of the border are urgent as well. And the, the money that, that is urgently needed for our allies in the, in the two wars that are going on are urgent as, uh, at the same time. So I don't know how to prognosticate exactly on this, other than to know that Congress is pretty good about punting on its own deadlines when it comes down to it, which is how you got here to this little train wreck uh, that, that's dominating the new year, even as voters are about to start going to the polls. So it's going to be a busy, busy January, February and beyond, I, say, I yeah, think, to say uh, the least. All of this playing out, of course, as the political calendar unfolds in 2024. Uh, meanwhile, President Biden is getting hammered on this immigration influx issue. Uh, and for months, you've had Democratic mayors, uh, Mayor Adams in New York City, chief among them, sounding the alarm that their city simply can't handle or continue to handle the sudden surge of people that are showing up uh, in places like New York and Chicago, uh, which is what the governors along the southern border have been saying uh, and dealing with for years. And now this week, I noticed the Homeland Security Secretary uh, and the mayor of Chicago are saying that this is Governor Abbott's fault in Texas because he's shipping busloads of migrants to their cities. Um, does the White House think that the American people are going to buy that? Uh, you know, the president's getting criticized for a lack of urgency, or at least the perception yeah. of a lack of urgency. Is this an issue that's a real threat to Biden's reelection? No question. I think if you look at the broad brush of issues, it's, it's an, an issue that's dominating a lot of headlines. It's urgent for a lot of Americans, and it's much more likely to cut in the benefit of Republicans than Democrats. At the same time, you've got very serious negotiations going on in the Senate uh, to try to find some, some compromise that would involve additional re resources for, uh, for, for border security. The president himself just yesterday called on Congress to approve additional funds. So they're dialed in in that sense. But, um, but I, I don't think it's going to be enough if, to your question about the White House just shifting blame and saying this is Republican governor's fault. So that's not the entirety of the reality. You can, you can spread blame around as you like. And clearly it's showing up at the doorsteps of a bunch of, uh, bunch of cities because of the actions of Republican governors like Abbott in Texas and DeSantis in Florida. But uh, that isn't the, the, the whole situation at all. All right, Rick Klein, here we go. 2024, a new year. We'll see what it plays out, how it plays out. Rick Klein, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Next on Full Circle Florida, did you know that there's a legislative session kicking off next week in Tallahassee? Hurricanes, health care, insurance. What lawmakers will get done first?